First, seek the kingdom of Yah. What do we need to do in order to obey the words of our Messiah, Yeshua, in Matthew 6, 33? It says, But seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Let's take a look. The context of this verse is right after Yeshua told the people not to be caught up in the daily worries and the anxieties of this world. Matthew 6, starting at verse 25. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Verse 31. Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles, that is, the heathen nations, seek after all these things first, that is, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Do not get caught up with the rat race of Babylon, chasing and getting distracted by clothes, careers, money, cars, etc. Yeshua says, Keep your eyes on the prize. If you keep the kingdom and its righteousness first, then the rest will be given unto you. Verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So, how do we set aside the daily worries of life and start to first seek the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness? Number one. Keeping Yahweh's laws and commandments. Psalm 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. We are to seek his kingdom and its righteousness by keeping the Sabbath, doing away with evil habits, loving Yah with all our hearts, and loving our neighbor. Speaking about loving your neighbor, number two is specifically that. How to love your neighbor. We are to feed the poor, visit the sick, and imprisoned. This is a kingdom mindset, and the rest will be given to you. This promise Yeshua gives us is not new or replacing the Torah, for it is found also in the Torah. Deuteronomy 15, verse 10 to 11. You shall give to him, that is the needy, freely, and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him, because for this Yahweh your Elohim will bless you in all your work and all that you undertake. For there will never cease to be poor in the land. Therefore I command you, you shall open wide your hand to your brother, to the needy, and to the poor in your land. And number three, seek Yahweh's salvation. Study the Bible. Know sound doctrine. Spread the gospel to someone. Evangelize. Spread the kingdom. Don't just work full-time at your secular job and never work for the kingdom also. Haggai 1 verse 9. Yah says, My house, that is the temple, that lies in ruins while each of you busies himself with his own house. Yahweh wants us to build his kingdom up first. The kingdom includes the people. Spread the good news and build the kingdom of the people of Yah. Exodus 19, verse 6. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. The Torah says that the holy set-apart ones are the kingdom. First, seek the body of Yahweh, the body of Yeshua, Israel. Make that a first priority, and the rest shall be given to you. Love your neighbor. Help the needy, shine your light, be the salt of the earth, and spread the good news to all the world that salvation comes through Yeshua the Messiah, sent by Yahweh the one true El. And we live our lives set apart by keeping Torah. The rest Yahweh will bless and give to us. Hallelujah. Thank you and Shalom.